Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Thanks for tuning in today. I just thought I'd come on quick and explain this video to you. We have been all the way from St. John, New Brunswick, across Canada. Uh, had an absolutely amazing trip. We have so much to share with you. Uh, we've now made our way down into the US and we are in Yuma, Arizona today. So this actual video that I'm sharing with you today is a little conversation Patty and I had about uh, leaving the city, which we describe as a bit of hell uh, to be honest, it was a it was a pretty stressful time, but we uh, feel so blessed uh, to be able to do this at this stage in our lives. Um, here in a couple of weeks, Patty will be Patty and I will be celebrating our 30th wedding anniversary. We couldn't think of a better celebration of our time together than to be uh, really traveling on this uh, gratitude tour that we've called uh, Chasing Dreams. So we hope you uh, enjoy some of the footage in this video, and we have a lot more to share with you over the next uh, few weeks. It's a lot of work. Uh, truth be told, it's a lot of work to put these videos together. So I hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, I hope you'll like and subscribe and we'll be sharing more with you. Take care. Okay. No, fuck. Let's know if we're eating. How's it look? Oh, that looks awesome. Great, okay. Hey! Oh, do you have your camera? Oh, that's such a great shot. Oh my God, stay there. Stay there. Just snap quick. <laughs> Little birdie, what are you doing? Okay, where are we? We're in... Have we started? Yeah. Patty, <laughs> you're supposed to have a script. I thought you were supposed to do cut. So we are, like yeah, cut, ready, and action. Okay. We're in uh, beautiful Two Jacks Lake on the Lake Minnewanka Trail, is that what it's called? Sure. Yeah, loop. We've been um, out here a lot. We're going to hopefully take some uh, sunset pictures here in a few minutes. We've taken some nighttime pictures here. No sunrise pictures here yet. I don't get up at sunrise. Patty doesn't get up at sunrise. <laughs> I don't do mornings. <laughs> so a couple things. I want to. So we're going to talk about. I want to talk to you about um, sort of breaking our video, some of the videos into getting ready to leave, sort of the first few days, leading leading up to the Thousand Islands, then Northern Ontario, and then talk a little bit about Banff. So, what was it like? What was it like um, the last couple of weeks before we were getting ready? To leave like when we were getting ready to yeah, leave like at home hell. the storage unit like yeah like it was it was it was hell it was hell yeah. yeah so all this like um getting ready to full-time uh rv and all the amazing trips you're gonna have and and uh that first couple of getting ready to leave was not fun had to put everything into storage from our home from my office um, trying to figure out post office boxes when you don't have an actual physical address, <laughs> things won't be delivered to you, not being able to get things that we ordered because we didn't have a physical address anymore. Like it was just a bit of a nightmare. Yeah. But it was, a, yeah, it was really, you know, it's a test of a relationship because, you, you know, like it was stressful. Like we've been married 29 years. We're excited about leaving, you know, and getting on the road and, and scared, excited, scared, you know, all those things, you know, the system certainly in Canada where we're from doesn't do full-time RV. Mm -mm. Like it doesn't, what do you mean you don't have an address? What do you mean you don't, you know, um, it, that's the system doesn't uh, take into account people who want to do a lifestyle like we're doing. Um, you know, there's no sort of domicile ability like we read about in the States. But that, yeah, leading up, like it was like we were so stressed out that last couple of weeks. And it's emotional. You're putting everything in your storage unit. You're packing, you're selling stuff, you're packing up, you're giving things away. And it, it was stressful. Is that, like, that's an understatement. I mean, it, yeah. It, yeah, and so then you get on the road and it's supposed to be light and happy and people are saying, oh, you're so lucky and you're exhausted yeah. and you're angry and you're frustrated. Yeah. <laughs> so it wasn't, that beginning part was really, really tough. 
Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you know, you know, and you hope it's going to get better. But but it was, <laughs> you know, and it's it's like, look where we're sitting here. I mean, we've had, you know, we're a little over a month in now. And we've had just amazing experiences, which we're going to share with you. But I mean, it, yeah, like getting on the road, no cakewalk, not easy. It's a test of a relationship. I wasn't being my best self for sure. Me neither. Uh, you know, we're stuffing things into a storage unit. We're, you know, not yelling because we don't really yell at each other. But we're <laughs> like, we're pretty stressed out, right? So Slightly passive aggressive. Anyway, maybe. we'll show you some pictures about uh, what that looks like, like stuffing and cramming those last <laughs> few things into the storage unit. Because, because if they wouldn't fit, there's no more storage unit. So like we're throwing stuff out if it doesn't fit into the storage unit, right? So we got through that and, uh, and yeah, so anyway, uh, all those videos you watch uh, that tell you it's going to be stressful, those are the honest ones because uh, it, was, it was pretty shitty, it was stressful, um, and those, you know, when you finally, you know, get in the car to, to leave, like you're not feeling rested and relaxed, you're feeling yeah. scared and stressed out and, and probably second guessing. Like, what have we done? Because all of our friends are getting up and going to work and, you know, we don't want that. Like, we're doing this for a complete lifestyle change, but those last few days were pretty stressful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, so. And then we hit Montreal traffic. So yeah, now, we'll, now we'll transition into that, so. So yeah, so then we leave. We, you know, we shared with you in our last little uh, bits there about uh, the stress of getting ready to leave. And then, um, you know, we're traveling from New Brunswick to Laval, Quebec, where we bought our, our um, Alliance Valor uh, fifth wheel. And that's f for some service. And, uh, you know, first first day, not so bad. We, we slept at a, at a casino in Edmonston, New Brunswick. <laughs> it was comfortable. Uh, you know, I think a little bit of excitement. We got a, you know, a decent night's sleep, I think. Um, and uh, and then all of a sudden, you know, we're we're getting up for day two, and you know we're heading towards uh, towards Laval, and uh, you know driving a rig that's some 65 feet in length through um, through Montreal, not fun. I'll let Patty <laughs> describe to you how she yeah, how she thought we handled that piece. How was it? It was wonderful. We were very loving. <laughs> we, we were we were very loving and uh, and kind toward each other um, during that 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 time. No, yes. we weren't. I mean, it's uh, you know you're trying to drive safely. You're trying to leave a little bit of room uh, so that you've got stopping distance. And in Montreal, that's a sport. Uh, like if you've ever driven in Montreal, Quebec, Canada, like if you leave space to be a safe driver that is an invitation for 17 cars to cram themselves in front of you. So I got a little aggressive <laughs> at times. I, I, I got aggressive in my driving because you couldn't give an inch. Uh, so anyway, we got, we got through Montreal, pretty stressful. And, you know, I'd have to tell you that, you know, I think the dealership, you know, uh, Roulette Levesque is where we bought. I think they're, they're trying, you know, but, but pretty disappointed to be honest. And, uh, you know, we bought our rig in, uh, it arrived in June. We didn't pick it up until late July. June, July. Uh, July, early, like June 30th, we picked it up. And, you know, we went back in, in late September, uh, to get service done and some of the parts and pieces they didn't order essentially. So, you know, we spent uh, two nights or three nights in hotels, um, a yeah, couple of three, nights, I but think. we paid for an additional night with a whole other mess because of uh, uh, the Marriott that said they're dog friendly and then charge $150 a night for uh, a pet fee. That's not dog friendly. Um, so, you know, in the end, I mean, I think they worked on our rig for about two or three hours. So, you know, had that, if that was going to be the plan, we would have just simply gone there um, at eight o'clock in the morning. Gone shopping. Gone shopping for a few hours, work on it, and then we would have hit the road again and, and gotten out of, uh, out of Quebec. But anyway, look, you know, in this lifestyle that we're in now, uh, full-time RVing and traveling, and, and this is a great lesson, especially for me, I'm, I'm wound up a bit tighter than Patty. You do have to learn to roll with the punches, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> come on now. <laughs> but but I mean, I think you do have to just like try to find the good in everything. It's not easy. Try to find the good in, in everything. And you know, each of us have our hot buttons, if you will. But uh, so anyway, we were, um, we were in Quebec Wednesday, Thursday and Friday afternoon. Yeah. Yeah, Friday afternoon, we uh, left there 
uh, for a pr pretty short trip, uh, two and a half or three hours to um, uh, Ivy Lee or the Gananoque area in the Thousand Islands, which is, uh, you know, it's like heaven to me. My dad grew up in Brockville. We have spent quite a bit of time in Thousand Islands. It, uh, and we really just needed, did we do three nights or four nights there, Patty? Five, didn't we? Uh, well, somewhere between three to five. I think See, it was five. You don't remember. <laughs> I like, think once, it was five. Once you get on the road, I mean, you just don't remember anymore. So we did... Uh, <laughs> several we, nights. We did <laughs> several nights. The fish we caught was that big, you know. We did, uh, we did a few nights just to get our breath you know, our garage and our fifth wheel was just jam full of stuff. And we, we got unpacked, we decompressed, we slept a little bit. And, you know, and that was, um, you know, I think that was really good for us because we, uh, we needed that little bit of break, of a break. And, um, you know, the only, uh, the only thing for me that was a bit devastating is, of course, um, we do have news now that the borders have been opened up, but the borders weren't opened up to the U.S. yet, and not being able to go to Alexandria Bay, New York, and have chicken wings and pizza, and, you know, which is my... Cavalarios. You know, yeah, Cavalarios, which is my childhood, um, you know, memories, right? So, but that was pretty good. You know, we, yeah, had, we had a good time. We got relaxed and... Uh, had a friend visit. Yeah, we had a friend visit from uh, from the Ottawa. Ottawa region and got out on the river. We did rent a pontoon boat and got out on the river and and that was pretty awesome. Yeah, that was yeah. good. Yeah, so we were starting to you know starting to get a bit more relaxed and feeling a bit better. So um, sort yeah. of, sort of, yeah. Yeah. So I think for me, because I've chosen not to drive or tow the rig because I don't haul things. <laughs> it's something I've never done. I don't enjoy it. I get nervous. It felt like I was on your trip. It felt like I didn't have a role. So I've been sort of working full-time plus in preparation for this, mm. and Donald has had some time off in preparation for our trip. And so I knew nothing about nothing. I didn't know about the rig. I didn't know how to do it. I didn't know how to turn the lights on. So really, as we started out, it felt a little bit like I was along for Donald's trip. So that's yeah. when the times come that I think communication is key. Mm. So if I would have just sat on that, then I would have really felt yucky. And Donald probably would have felt some animosity for doing most of the stuff and set up and take down and that sort of thing. But we had a, actually a good conversation, a healthy conversation about the fact that that's the way I was feeling. And uh, then you showed me how mm. to do pretty much everything. Not that I do everything, but then it was easier to find roles for each other. And then you both feel like you're contributing yeah, you, to the I, trip, right? Yeah, I, I mean, I'm, I hear you and I think you're being hard on your, like, you know, we forgot to say, like Patty was working full time while we were packing up, moving, getting into a storage unit, like that just adds to the stress even more. I mean, I think she, you know, right out of the gate, we've done a pretty good job together as a couple on the checklists and, you know, are the jacks up and are the lights working? And, you know, Patty right away jumped into that role and has done amazing, an amazing job. But you're right, it's like that next next level of, and even, you know, in the last couple of weeks, you know, um, you know, was putting slides in and out and leveling the right. rig and just, you know, so that, you know, um, you feel like you contribute. Yeah. So, you know, how do you break these tasks down as a couple so that it's not, you know, um, you know, it's not one person doing everything or one person only inside and one person only outside. So, you know, I think we've been, you know, the last little bit trying to share more about hooking up, uh, hooking up water and sewer lines and dumping and, and all those. So you can, do the, dump, you can no, do the dumping. Not, <laughs> you can do the dumping. No, we've had a I don't of, quite understand that one. We've had a poo explosion already. So Patty does not want to get into the, to the dumping stage. So right. I've learned how to do it. I'm not doing it. Excellent. Hi, Patty. Uh, it's um, it's me. I have to tell you, I am pretty. <laughs> I am pretty goddamn proud of myself right now. So, look what I did today. I built the floor. I cut things. I measured it all out. I built it. I even had to cut little wedges in so the the doors close and they close. <laughs> I'm so proud of myself. I haven't felt this proud and a long time so anyway that's it